And dancing is about relating to each other. And you're building a picture together, so everything you do is about responding to another person. You know, you hear talk, people talking about their partnerships, and it sounds just like a, <laughs> just like you're dating. Oh, we had a fight. We're, you know, breaking up. This person's, you know, started is now together <laughs> with this person. And I think we doing? banter a lot. We're kind of like an old married couple. We're not, not married. I don't know. You think it's like an old married couple? We just, we poke. <laughs> yeah, she pokes me all the time. It's, it's literally this. It literally is because I'm doing this and this. <laughs> Come on. It's really important to have a good connection with your partner, especially in Latin, because a lot of it is about like sex and love and all that stuff. So it's, it's really good if you have like chemistry with your partner. Just as long as you can tolerate the other person, it's probably better. We both were at Harvard uh, during a week where there was not much going on. We both wanted to dance and keep up our skills. So we just decided since we were friends or had a mutual friend, we would dance together just for fun. And it, it, we really hit it off. I think we hit it off too. <coughs> I think that was the main reason. Step, triple step, rock, step, triple step, triple step, rock, step, run, 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 triple step. Good. And right now, as a partnership, we're, we're really, really focusing on connection because um, since I've had a year of training doing pro am competing, which is when I compete with my teacher, I kind of have a tendency to lead myself. So now I'm trying to cure myself of leading, and he's trying to learn how to lead. That was perfect. That was perfect. But your arm went up. That's, well, that's, don't let it go up. It and I'll, you push it up. You're not I think that maybe it up and I'm not supposed to be pushing it up. When we practice and I'm trying to get to do a certain move at a certain time, I'll anticipate it, and if he's not on time, I will I will just go there. Da, 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 da. Do you think you could do a handhold with me when you come in? Yeah. We've been attempting to have Zin be the man and in charge and have me follow, which is a little bit difficult because our personalities um, are different from that. When someone doesn't follow your lead, you you have this this host of feelings. You could feel frustration. I, I felt frustration before. Um, but at the, at the same time, sometimes I would feel inadequate. Um, and then at other times, it's, it's just annoying. I have to shut up a lot more. Let him talk. That's okay. And be in control. It's a lot of trust. I mean, she has to trust that I'll give her what she needs, and I have to trust that she'll respond, respond to it. Five, six, Seven, uh, eight, oh, one, two, three, four, five. We started dancing four and a half years ago, and um, it was going really well for our first couple competitions. And then, probably sometime in the following year or so, maybe a year and a half later, sort of things leveled off. At one competition, we almost broke up. It's so hard. Yeah? It's just so fast. I feel like I'm not counting it right, and I'm not like... Bill was a little frustrated with my stagnating in certain ways of the dancing. We thought about breaking up as partners, but um, decided to instead just take a break for a while. Brainstormed ideas how we can be better partners and be better to each other and more productive. and. Um, you know, we had all these like spreadsheets going on and forms and stuff and like we went all out. We have a little candle lighting ceremony before and after we practice and it helps us, you know, stay productive and <coughs> keep our friendship and stuff, our outside social life separate from our practice life. I know that we'll be able to deal with any conflicts lovingly and peacefully and Thank you hopefully again. There won't be any. Hopefully there won't be any. <laughs> good shoes, good pants, good job, let's dance. Well, I've been dancing since I was four. I've done like ballet, jazz, tap, musical theater, Irish dancing, like river dance, and then ballroom. Um, and I always used to watch the competitions on TV. It's like, I want to do that! It's not, not like anything I've done before. Like I'm very into sports uh, and athletics, that sort of thing. And I'm more into like the masculine sports, wrestling, like the martial arts, like I was saying, that sort of stuff. Um, and bottom's not quite as masculine, but anyway. Um, 
You still love it. Thank you. Actually, in the beginning, it was very nice to meet girls. That is true. Because <laughs> it's like the ratio is very And then you met me and you started crying. <laughs> Make for, um, international okay. I think it could be true. Well, well, because like, if we don't, then what's going to happen is probably going to get stuck doing the fan. You know? Let's go with me. You're the leader. I know. <laughs> so I actually originally wanted to be partners with another girl, but Maggie kind of scared her away, to be 100% honest. I was kind of territorial about dancing with him, and I kind of made it seem like he was my boyfriend. So no other girls would go near him so I could dance with him. We practice the move with one person and they say, okay, everyone switch. And when we do that, Maggie would stand right near me and kind of eye off other girls. I'm thinking for the comp, maybe it might be better if we had like a little routine of like stuff we knew. So it would be just a little easier to do it. I'm clueless. He doesn't care. I mean, our two goals are very different. Uh, she wants to win, I'd say primarily, have fun second. Uh, I'm the exact opposite. I just spaz sometimes. Like, I call him, like, before every competition, like, if we have to leave at 6.30, I'll call him at 6.00. Are you awake? Are you awake? She's extremely enthusiastic about it, almost obsessive. 